Hey guys, so we got a battery sent to us from Lie Time? Lee Time? I don't know how to pronounce these sometimes. There's a battery that everybody knows that's called Ampere Time. Well, this is them. They changed their name to Lie Time. All right. So, there's our product manual. As you can see, I mean, it looks just like the Ampere Times batteries, but they are Lie Time. It says originate from Ampere Time. This is a 50 amp hour, 12.8 volt. Uh, charges to voltage, uh, charges to 14.4 plus or minus 0.2. Maximum continuous charge and discharge is 50 amps. We are going to charge this battery up with a 50 amp charger, so that's good to know. It has a 4,000 uh, cycle life. I don't see anything about uh, low voltage, or I'm sorry, low uh, temperature protection. This, this all looks fairly standard. Uh, you can series connect four and you can parallel connect four. All right, so let's pull it out. Well, here's your battery bolts. That's uh, common that we're seeing. They put them in the box like that. And uh, they do appear to be M8, and they've given us two sets, which is common these days for whatever reason. But uh, sure, extra bolts are handy. And there she is. Look at that, guys. So yeah, it looks exactly like an Ampere Time because that's what it is. They've just changed the name to Lie Time. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the voltage and see what it came arrived to us as. All right, and we'll be using the beautiful fluke meter provided to us by Brett. And the battery has arrived to us at 13.18 volts, which is perfectly acceptable. So now we're going to charge this guy up with the Ardroit uh, 50 amp uh, lithium iron phosphate charger. Okay, plugged in, charger is charging, and uh, we'll let that charge up, then we'll come back and check to see what voltage level it actually charges up to. That's a test I like to perform. I like to make sure it will charge up to the voltage level specified in the manual, which is 14.4 plus or minus 0.2. So it needs to at least charge up to 14.2 volts. And uh, that would give us a good indication that the battery is nice and balanced and the cells uh, have been uh, selected properly in their capacity and internal resistance. And uh, anyways, we'll be back when this is charged. Ah, it's constantly raining. So I think this battery is fully charged. Let's check the voltage. So it looks like we're resting at 13.326. Uh, so let's restart the charge and I want to see what it gets up to. Okay. So we are at 14. 14.1. If we get 14.2, that's what this, the minimum in the manual. Okay, so it is meeting the specs in the manual. Let's see how far it'll go. Looks like it got to 14.6. Can't get any better than that. All right, so uh, now 
when the battery is fully charged, it actually does charge up to 14.6, um, indicating that uh, the cells are nice and balanced and matched. We're going to set this up to do a discharge test, and we're going to see if it meets or exceeds the 50 amp hours. Be back. All right, guys, so I'm set up to do a capacity test. I've got the battery running through my shunt, and I'll be recording it on my tablet uh, into this Leaskey inverter. And then we're going to use this heat gun as the load. So let's start. All right. So we were, are pulling 40, 45, 46 amps. So roughly a 1C test. Uh, for you guys that are familiar with my videos, I do uh, close to 1C tests all the time on these lithium ion phosphate batteries. It takes a lot less time for me to complete the test. To me, it's a better test because it loads the battery down. Uh, I understand that uh, 0.2C test is uh, the industry standard. I think that was the industry standard back in the day when there was lead, lead acid. I have not seen much difference, if any, between a 0.2 and a 1C test on these lithium ion phosphate batteries, so I just skip it. If, um, if it does not pass a 1C test, then uh, we'll recharge it and we'll do a 0.2C to give it another chance. Anyways, we're going to let this continue to run, and whenever it is complete, we'll come back and see what the results are. All right, guys. The test is getting close to completion. We're down to 2%. Uh, we've pulled 49.4 amp hours, 620 watt hours. Uh, voltage is setting at about 11.6. 1% left now. Looks like we are probably going to make it. Uh, Everything seems to be fine on the battery. And we are coming right up on it here. There we go, 50 amp hours. So we have uh, reached the uh, advertised capacity of this battery at uh, 50 amp hours. Let's see how much further it'll go. one amp hours we're at 10.5 volts so we're going to be shutting down here very very soon there's the inverter complaining and we're at 10 volts all right, so there we go, guys. We got uh, 51.36 amp hours, 641.20 watt hours. So we uh, pulled full capacity, slightly over on the amp hours. Uh, yep, good battery, very good battery. And um, this, like I said, this is Amper Time battery, but they've changed their name to Lie Time. So if you guys want to pick one of these up for yourself, I'll leave some links in the description uh, where you can find them on Amazon and directly. I think there is a, they have a store direct where you could buy directly from them. Uh, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a fantastic battery. And uh, these little 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries are so lightweight. It's uh, so awesome, the technology that we have for batteries now. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.